Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy vacation day. <laughs> yes, boss lady getting ready to roll up out of here. Of course, I'm rolling right now in my car. I had to um, just run a couple errands before, you know, we roll out. Now, mind you, I don't know if I ever told y'all, but boss lady is an early bird. So, it is uh, 10 after 6 <laughs> in the morning. I've been up since 4.30. I've been out since 5.45. Um... I just left the bank and the gas station. I'm getting ready to go and pick up donuts for the family and then whew, head on head on up out of here. So I didn't want to have boss man running around because you know he's gotta go to work. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's gotta go to work and so it would just was easier for me to go and do what I need to do. So I had to go and pick up the I wanted to make sure I had cash for my sister because she's actually picking up our tickets for the um for the park for the six flags and uh so i want to make sure you know i got my cash in hand but here you go sis boom done um because she's getting a discount for us so hallelujah we decided we're not going on saturday because she called and she said it's supposed to be like 98 degrees on saturday so i said oh no 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 we, we can't do that i mean that's a little hot <laughs> a little hot so no we're not doing that but um so we'll go a different day you know before we come back of course of course miss peanut's upset about that because she's like i wanted to go on saturday and i said well do you want stroke out she was like huh i said do you want to get heat stroke she said no ma'am i said okay then you're gonna go on a day when it's you know more convenient and a little bit cooler for us because my sister said there is no shade so yeah even though I did get the little visor from Miss Peanut, still, you know, I worry about her in the sun excessively. So, that be that. Um, I'm trying to think. I was something else I was gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna do a little vlog real quick before I head up out of here. Drop this on the channel so y'all can have that while I'm gone, while I'm in the airport. Oh, I'm excited. I got on my boss lady shirt, the uh, the black and gold one. So it says boss lady on it. And then Miss Peanut says, mini boss. <laughs> she thinks she gonna be so cute today. I'm like, that's right, honey. Get your bag, let's roll. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm letting her sleep too because she's super excited. She would not go to bed last night. And I was just like, you gotta go to sleep. You got to go to sleep, honey. You gotta go to sleep. So, she did finally go to bed. It was late though. I don't, I'm trying to think. Because I was woke when Boss Man got home last night. So, I, I mm, well, no, I wasn't woke. I was watching YouTube or it was watching me. Something like that. But I remember him coming in the door. And I was like, oh, for real, you're here? Okay. Choo. Turn, <laughs> turn the, the phone off. So, but yeah, I'm going to run over to this donut shop. It's only open. This donut place is only open. Uh, it opens at 6 in the morning, I think. Till 10. So, if you don't get there you don't get there and people be buying these donuts them donuts be going so fast so it's not that far from the house probably about mm, not even 15 minutes not well maybe 15 17 i mean 15 12 minutes or whatever from the house so it's not that far um but i'm excited and i knew i was making a lot of noise this morning and my nerves is bad because I kept hearing something while I was sleeping. And I was like, what is that noise? It sounded like somebody was moaning outside my house. So, you know, me being who I am, boss lady, I don't want to open up all the doors. Like, what's going on? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> and um, it was a cat. A cat in heat. So it must be one of our neighborhood, you know, roam the, the neighborhood cats. And so yeah he was out there he was he she well i think she but it was out there moaning and hissing and because i was gonna leave the house at like four some this morning and i decided no nah, i ain't gonna go out there because i can't see because it was still dark and so i said well let me go head on i went and curled my girlfriend up real quick i curled her um did some other stuff in the house got dressed paid some bills well, I only had one bill to pay because the other ones I already was hitting the count. So, there was one I had to, you know, physically push the button. So, I did that. And uh, then I come outside to this. 
gray skies and oh i prayed yesterday because yesterday we had gray skies and i'm like lord i need you to clear these skies and now we're back cloudy again it's like we can't even enjoy none of this none of this um whatever we got going on because gray skies so of course there's uh conspiracists or however you say that word saying you know they're messing with the weather you know they're messing with the skies i'm like look i need them not to mess with the sky on june 1st because boss lady and mini me over here is getting up out of here so i need y'all to clear the skies up let the plane get up there do his business get to where it gotta go land we break for a minute get in that sky again and then head on to where we're going so oh yeah we actually have a layover in a city that I've never been to before. I'm trying to think, have I ever been there? Hmm. No, I've been to Kansas City. I've never been to St. Louis. Yeah, because we have a layover in St. Louis, Missouri. I don't know nothing about the place, but I said, well, you know, I'll take a gander and see what it's about. <clears throat> I always like to, you know, put that little little pin in. Like, oh, we, we traveled here. We traveled there. Of course, I would like to travel to some places. Oh, sorry, y'all. All them keys. I would like to travel to some places where uh, we can actually go and visit for a little bit before, you know. Oh, I hope it's not backed up. I want some donuts. Well, actually, I don't because my stomach is hurting. Um. Yeah. So, give me a second, guys. I'm going to run in here and see if I can get some donuts for the family. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got their donuts. I got one uh, raspberry filled donut and then a chocolate covered sprinkled donut for Miss Peanut. So you know she's going to have to eat hers before she get dressed because um, I'm not getting that white shirt dirty. Oh, but I wanted to, you know, get something, have a little treat for them. I know they probably thought I was going to Caribou this morning, but uh, no, 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 uh-uh, not today. Oh, I guess I'll drive the back way. I won't pass this house that I like. <laughs> Have you ever, is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. Um, Have you ever, like, drove through neighborhoods and you're like, oh, I like that house? So, yeah, every now and then I do that. Oh, I'm sitting back there. It's a really nice house. But I wouldn't want to live in a suburb. Mm -mm. I like the city. I'm a city girl. Now, if the opportunity arises, I'll move to the country. But I don't, I don't want to live in the suburb. You know, I'd rather live in the country where I got some, some space and I don't have to deal with certain things. So anyway, so I got their donuts because... You know, I just thought it would be kind of nice to have something. I did not get myself one. Um, I have, I think I'm going to eat some oatmeal. Um, just because my stomach is not right. <laughs> and so I just don't want to, you know, I don't want to be empty stomach, stomach, stomach getting on the plane. So yeah, I'm going to uh, just fix me some oatmeal real quick and relax try to relax i can't relax i'm so i'm so ready and you know and i hate to be this way that's one reason why i'm outside the house because you know when i leave my husband i mean we both get a little sad i'm not gonna lie we do you know we so sappy i know i know hey uh, that's when you know you got that good love when you miss each other before you done left yes baby but <laughs> I'm like, he knows I need this. He knows that I have been under extreme stress to the point of no return. Um, stress so much all the way up until I went on vacation, like literally signed out of work, you know, stress. So he knows I need this. You know, work has been stressing me. Um, family, life. You know, not my immediate, but you know. So I'm just like, I, I need, I need a break away. I need to, I need to get away. You know, I had a friend ask me, um, and I think I told y'all this in the live. You know, she asked me, was I gonna be super sad? You know, when my daughter leaves, and you know, yeah, I'm gonna be sad. And then of course, my grandson tells me, you know, Granny, I don't want to go. I was like, Lord, <laughs> pulling on those, 
those heartstrings. I'm like, man, I'm gonna need y'all to just, whoo, man. So yeah, that was a bit much. Um, that was just yesterday too when I saw him. So you know, I mean, it, it is what it is, you know. Um, she's grown. I mean, even one of her her friends was like, "Why are you gonna let her go?" She asked me just yesterday. I said, "She's grown. What can I do?" You know, I can't. Say, You're gonna stay, no, baby. If you don't spread them wings, and she's always been a free spirit anyway. You know, she never. She was never the coddle type of child. She never liked to be, you know, cuddled up and all that type of stuff. She was one of them, like, let me go, let me roam, you know, fall bump her head type of child, even as an adult, okay? So, you know, let her be. Now, my peanut butter, yeah, I might have some some reserves about that one, because that is my cuddle baby. But my first one, she she's always been like, I'm grown. It's coming out the womb. I'm grown. So, you know, whatever. But, uh, it is what it is. So, I had to figure out, you know, how to get down there and, you know. Mm. But anyway, I'm not going to stress about that because, child, I'm on vacation. I'm on, somebody told me yesterday, matter of fact, it was my daughter. She said, Mom. And I said, Yes. She said, do you realize you are glowing? She said, it must be that vacation coming up. I said, no, nah, baby. I said, I've been on vacation since 3.30 the day before. So, I've already started vacationing. I don't have to go anywhere to say I'm on vacation, okay? Just like when we come back, I'm still going to be on vacation. I still don't go back to work for like four days before, you know, when I come back from uh, the trip. So, ciao. When I'm not working, that's a vacation. When I'm not the hustle and bustle and got to run and doing this, that's a vacation. You know, I got a little um, outing plan for the family. Um, well, the four of us, my, me and my kids. And um, my kids, well, I call my grandson my kid too. Because, I mean, you know, he's a stench of me. But I got a, a little excursion planned for us before they leave out. Because I want to say they leave next Saturday. He graduates kindergarten next Friday. And so after kindergarten graduation, then we're going to go and just spend some time together. Just the four of us. You know, because that'll be the last time for a while, at least. So, I, I'm not tripping. Uh, shoot, I'm trying to have me some fun. Enjoy my, enjoy myself. So, but yeah. I, <laughs> vacation to me is not punching that clock. Not doing something that I normally do, which is, you know, the hustle and bustle. Like yesterday, I was washing dishes and was having a fit. I'm like, I'm sick of washing dishes. <laughs> I don't want to wash dishes no more. Not saying that I won't wash dishes probably at my sister's, but, you know, I'm really quick. Like, where's your paper plates and paper cups? And, you know, I, mm -mm, be doing all that extra. So. But I'm pulling up to the house, y'all. I got roughly an hour before we roll up out of here. I'm super excited. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. But yeah, I had to go and put gas in my car. That's the main reason why I had got up. Um, I had to put gas in my car because I ran my gas out yesterday. So, and I need to grab my book. Oh, excuse me. Whew. Shook my whole body. Um, I got my JC Penny book in the mail. Let me show y'all. You know, Penny's be sending me stuff. So I haven't really looked at the clothes, but what I did look at, um, it says it's for Father's Day, like, you know, buy it for fathers, but no, I want it for me. I really want this watch right here. It's like the, the imitation version of the Apple watch, I guess you would say. Um, I need just to see, cause it says Bluetooth accessible. You can, uh, pair it with your contacts messages and then you can dial out on it or whatever so and for rewards members guys look at the price you see that right there $25 you know boss lady trying to roll and get that I mean come on now and it says it's regular price let me see here 
For rewards members, it's $25, but regular price is $49.99 for non-rewards members. And then it says something about it's regular. Oh, no. So it's $25 right now. If you're a non-rewards member, then it's $49.99. Regular price is $75. I want that watch. For $75? Yes, I want that watch. I think it's cute. So, and it says it has a pedometer on it. And sleep monitor, music, and more. So, yes, I'm trying to get this when I get to California. Now, I know I'm going to pay tax. But I'm going to pay tax here at home. But I think the tax will be more there. So, oh my gosh, it is getting grayer and grayer outside. Lord help. I was not planning to take any jackets. But I don't want to get my shirt wet. Because it's a white shirt. And, you know, there's not no wet t-shirt contest. So... Yeah. So anyways, I'm gonna put this in my bag because I definitely want this um I I want this watch. And I was going to go get it yesterday, but then I didn't have time run around with the family. Yeah, that was a situation. Situation, situation. So anyway, so I took my when I talked to my sister, she said there's a uh JC Penney's at some mall that we were talking about going to. So I was like, Cool, I wanna do that. So yeah, that's what I, I plan to do. See. And that's what it says at the bottom. So I'm like, yeah. I'm talking about get it for Father's Day. First of all, my husband's not going to do that because he already swear that they're monitoring our cell phones. So he ain't going to, you know, accept that. Plus, he, he likes um, dress watches, you know. That's his his thing. Like, when he wear a watch, it's got to be, you know, the nice... Um, would it, would it be considered metal? Yeah, like metal watches or whatever. You know, a men's dress watch. He's got a few of those. So, he wouldn't wear this. But I would, especially if it's going to monitor my steps and stuff. And y'all know I'm trying to monitor my steps. Because if I can get that to monitor my steps as opposed to my phone, you know, that'd be great. But then again, I think about it. I take my watches off at night, but I constantly have my phone in my hand. Ain't that strange? That's so weird. Well, anyway, let me get in this house because I'm about to make uh wake this baby up. So she can eat this donut because I, I need her to eat it. I need her to wash all her hands two times uh, in her face before she put that white shirt on. And then I need to decide if we're going to take some type of jacket. Oh, my gosh. I mean, we got our like our little rain jackets. I got a red one. She has a blue one. And we can take those. And those aren't bulky. I can, you know, fold them down and stuff them in the backpack. But I just didn't want to have to wear something. But, oh, so you're probably wondering, well, why do you got to wear a jacket if Boss Lady's dropping y'all off? Here's the thing. When Boss Lady go to the airport, um, I don't necessarily get driven to the airport. I actually ride the train. I like riding the train. Um, the train is just, it's fun. It's an adventure. And she likes to ride the train, too. Now, granted, you know, you can have some undesirables on the train, but... You know, it's daytime and whatever. Now, when we come back, we're coming back at night. So, that's going to be a situation. But, um, I still told boss man, I didn't want him driving all the way to the airport to come get us. So, anyway, um, so we're going to be riding the train. Which, let me double check because I just spent $2. I know y'all like, you just spent $2 and you, what you worrying about, boss lady? Because I got to buy the train tickets. <clears throat> and I forgot how much they are. But I got fives. Because I think... We are in rush hour time, <clears throat> so the tickets are two, two seventy five. Yeah, they're two seventy five right now. So yeah, so I'm glad I do got the fives, cause I had single. I wanted to make sure I had singles. I did have singles, but then I bought their donuts, and that was a dollar eighty. So I do got you know some fives or whatever here to get our tickets, cause I think that I think they are two seventy five. I know I heard the fare is going up. But coming back, we actually have free tickets, uh, free train tickets coming back. So that's going to be a blessing. Because I said I'd rather pay going out than pay coming back. So because, you know, I may not have, you know, the right amount of change in my purse. So but I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I I went against my better judgment. I did set up some videos for you guys, not every single day, but a couple of days while I'm gone. And um, if I get a chance, you know, either early, early morning or late, late night, um, I'll respond to the comments. So please don't think that I'm ignoring you. Yes, I will respond. It'll just be, you know, 
at different intervals or whatever because I won't be able to respond while I'm doing stuff while I'm on vacation. Well, not vacation, but while I'm, you know, out doing stuff with the family. But I will like when I lay down at night for the, you know, for the evening or early morning since we are on Midwest time and that's West Coast. So I have to do something to occupy myself because my sister is not an early bird. Now I'm up. I'm moving. My sister is knocked out right now. <laughs> and she already told me, don't come out here waking me up. I was like, excuse me? I said, well, you better give me a, a, a electrical socket to charge my phone and I'll be quiet. I have no problem. I got headphones. <laughs> oh, but they're so excited. My nieces are excited. I cannot wait to see them. I haven't seen them since physically since 2011 my nieces now my sister yes i see her every year but my nieces yes i have not seen them physically i haven't been able to hold them touch them since 2011 so this is going to be bittersweet because now they're not babies they are grown my peanut is the only baby well outside a little man but as far as the granddaughter she's the only baby because all the other ones are grown so with that being said, let me go wake up my baby so we can get ready to get into these skies. Lord, clear these skies. Pray for clear skies, okay? Pray that they open up the skies. Just open up the clouds. Let us get up there. Y'all can close them back, storm, do whatever you got to do. Just let us get out. So I just don't want no delays. I did check this morning. Everything is on time. So prayerfully, when we get there and check in, we're on time. And... Prayerfully, that bag is not over 50 pounds because boss man said that bag is heavy. Oh, Jesus. Let that bag be under 50 pounds. I didn't pack that much. I kid you not. I kid you not. I, mm, four outfits a piece, additional dress, two shirts, and her visor went in there. So, okay, from what I showed you guys, yeah, I packed us four outfits a piece, underclothes, pajamas. Socks, hair stuff is in there. Um, um, yeah, and then the only thing I put in there this week was two shirts, our other, our black boss lace shirts. I put my dress in there that you guys haven't seen yet, and I put um, uh, her visor in there. So I don't understand. And when I waited on my mom's scale, it was saying it was under 40. But that was before those, what, five additional items, four additional items. But still, those items are not that heavy, so I don't know. And she keeps saying, well, it's the suitcase. If I get to the airport, y'all, and they say it's over 50 pounds, I'm going to sit there and cry. I'm going to be trying to take stuff out and stuff it inside my backpack, seriously. So we're going to pray. <laughs> we're going to pray. And I'm going to ship some stuff back. <laughs> Cause I'm not playing that. But anyway, it's gotta go. Love you, love you, love you. And I will see you all in a new video. Bye-bye. Happy travels. <laughs>